As you can see, we've got another conifer hedge to trim. And also this pampas, which Andy's taken out. As you can see, it's a quite a what I'd call a fluffy hedge. Um, it's not a particularly tight hedge at all. Uh, you're not going to get any nice, sharp, crisp edges on it. It's, it, it needs cutting more, to be honest with you. Um, but there's a fair bit of it. And I know someone's going to say, oh, what's that bank for? I'll just quickly show you. It's holding back this river. And the sun's just coming up. It was a lovely morning, a bit chilly and a bit damp, but really, really nice. This is the first time I've ever cut this hedge. And as I said earlier, uh, it could definitely do with two cuts a year, certainly for a couple of years at least just to help tighten the face and the top up. Uh, it says it's a very fluffy hedge. Um, in places I'm taking sort of a good foot off the side and then in other places literally three four inches. It, uh, it is what it is really. Um, in this particular video I've done a few camera angles uh, best I can to actually show you in places my eye view and seeing exactly what I see uh, when you sort of trimming hedges With a hedge that's got as much side growth as this one's got, and I've never cut it before, uh, sometimes you, you sort of you got to judge how far to take it back and to find where you want to be. Uh, but sometimes what I do is I take a quick pass over with the hedge cutter, just taking probably about half where I think I want to be, and then pass over again the same spot. To take it back to where I want to be. Um, sometimes it just it gives you a little bit more confidence. Sometimes you know it, you know you're in the right place. Then the order in how I cut this hedge um, was basically I did all this side first, and then I cut all the top. But I did it from this side because it's most open, and then uh, trim the other side up. Once I've done all the side I can reach with a short reach, uh, what I do is I just slap an extension in and then finish off all the, the high stuff. Using the extension and it just brings it back to a normal length. 
long reach edge cutters, saves using a ladder. And now for the top of the hedge. Um, I'm not starting at one end, uh, basically because the middle of the hedge, I, I want to get fairly level, even though it goes up and down. So I'm starting sort of to one end, then I go back on myself. Um, basically it gives me a target to aim for. As you can see there's the bit I've already done and you basically look down your hedge cutter and you've got a target to aim for and because it's in front of you it's easier to see where you're going and where you want to go than looking behind you and guessing your level you've always got a target if it's in front of you And there's the side and top all done. Another advantage of doing both from this side is most of the waste is gone this side in the open, which makes it a lot easier to rake up. And you pretty much just got this bit and then behind all the trees and shrubbery, which I didn't film. And at this point, Andy's got most of that Pamp us out, and uh, it was a bit of a bugger, I think. And there's the rest of the hedge from the inside. As you can see, you can't see it. <laughs>
on the home straight now. Uh, it's just narrowing me squeezing between the shrubs and trees and the hedge. And there it is all done. Uh, as I said, it's not a particularly dense hedge, so it's difficult to get a crisp edge to it. Um, but it will over time if it gets cut regularly. And there's the pampas all gone and tidied up as well. And there's another view of the other side. Thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.